Okay, I have a fun effect to share with you today. I call it the 7-Eleven card trick. So it involves the sevens and also the jacks, which are often assigned the value of 11, as you might know. So we'll go ahead and just randomly stack these. And so to begin to mix the cards, I'm going to go ahead and just spell jacks, J-A-C-K-S, and then sevens, S-E-V-E-N-S. -E -E okay, very good. Now to mix the cards beyond the knowledge of anyone here, I'm going to actually deal them out into three piles and then just stack them in the opposite order, which will help randomize the cards a little bit faster. Now, if you were here, I would have you tell me um, how to stack these piles. You want right on left? Okay. I want to point out that when you go to perform this, you can ask the spectator how many times they would like you to deal out into two piles with random stacking decided by them. They can choose any number they like. It will not harm this packet. Why is that? because it is a Bessie sequence of order eight, and it is virtually indestructible against any systematic shuffling procedure used today. Okay, so it won't hurt it. Uh, why don't we also do the mange? Have you seen this over, under, over, under, over, under, over? You can also do under, over, repeated. Uh, you can do as many of those as you like. The spectator wants just one of them or five billion of them. You can do that. It won't harm this packet structure in any way. Uh, I'll go ahead and just deal that into four piles. How would you like these stacked? Left to right, right to left? We can even do something called leapfrog stacking, which is kind of fun. Left to right and leapfrog, okay. So this packet here leaps over its neighbor, lands there. This one leaps over its neighbor and lands there. How would you like these stacked? Right on left. Okay, you can have the spectator tell you how many times to perform this dealing out into four piles with random stacking from left to right, right to left, or leapfrog stacking. And you can do that as many times as they call for, as long as you have enough hours in the day. But it won't harm this packet. Uh, let's go ahead and do a Klondike shuffle. This is one that is often used in card magic and in mixing cards. This is where you take the top and bottom cards off as one. Would you like me to do another one of those? You would, okay. So top and bottom as one. Just deal those off. Now you can perform one or two as we just did, or two million of these. It won't harm this packet. Um, let's just do one final shuffle of many that we could do. We're going to do the Australian Down Under. It's a fun one to perform. Uh, how it goes is down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, last one goes on top. Do you want to make a guess as to how many times you could do this shuffle and not harm anything? You're right. You could do it more times than you could accomplish in your lifetime. It won't hurt this packet. So do it once, a dozen times, or for the rest of the life of the universe, it won't harm this packet. Okay, and so at this point, why don't we go ahead and we'll do just one more little mixing. I call it the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So this is where I just deal out the cards until you know the spectator says stop and then I'll move to a new pile. Maybe they say stop there. Maybe they say stop just with that one, okay? So first shall be last and the last shall B first. Okay, well, I think that's enough mixing, don't you? So what we're going to do is we're going to show that the chaos we've created can be undone perfectly without ever seeing the faces of the cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to spell out four jacks, four sevens. But we're going to do it in kind of a special way. So how it works is I'm going to move the top card to the bottom for each letter in the word that we're going to spell. So for four, F-O-U-R. 
R, you set down that last letter, uh, Jax, J, A, C, K, S for Jax, uh, four again, F, O, U, R, finally sevens, S, E, V, E, N, S, sevens. What did we find? We found the four sevens is what we found with the jacks over here on the left. Okay, how in the world were we able to do that? Because of Bessie's sequences of order eight. So I will include links in the description below that will take you to explanations as to what this special packet structure is that cannot be destroyed by the common systematic shuffling procedures used today, which gives you tremendous freedom to have the spectator make choice after choice after choice, which will not undermine in the least what you hope to accomplish. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.